Hi and welcome to a Kebby Maths video on writing an expression for the perimeter of a shape. Now an expression is something that does not contain an equal sign. So for example something like 3x plus 7 or 2x or 5x minus 3y. All three of those things are expressions because they have not got an equal sign. If they've got if you have an equal sign, then it's called an equation. So we are just looking for expressions which represent a perimeter of a shape. So let's start off with something straightforward, which is a rectangle. And if we are given a rectangle and told that this side length is x plus 5 and this side length is x plus 2, we are asked to write down an expression for the perimeter of the shape. Now the first thing we need to remember is what perimeter means, which is the distance around the outside of the shape. The second thing is that we put a dot in the corner where we're going to start from, so we make sure we include all of the sides and don't perhaps double count any of the sides. And the third thing we need to do is, because it's a rectangle and opposite sides are equal in a rectangle, write in these missing sides. So this one is x plus 5. And this one over here is x plus 2. And then the first thing we need to do if we're asked to find the expression for the perimeter is to write down all of these sides added together. And you don't need to do anything fancy. You just need to write them down with an addition side in, in, between, in between them. And then we'll tidy it up afterwards. So we start off by going along here, which is x plus 5. Down here add x plus 2, along here add x plus 5 and finally back up here we add x plus 2. Okay, And there is a mark for writing down in a question how you are getting this expression for the perimeter. Then we tidy it up and collect together the things that we can collect together. So the x's we can collect together and there are 1, 2, 3, 4 of those so we can write that as 4x. And then the numbers, we've got 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7. So 5 and 2 is, sorry, plus 2. So 5 and 2 is 7. 5 and 2 is 7. And 7 and 7 is 14. So 4x plus 14 is the answer to finding an expression for the perimeter of that rectangle. Of course, it works for any shape. So if you had a right angle triangle like this, and this was 7 centimetres, this was x plus 12 centimetres, and this was x plus 17 centimetres. And again, we were asked for an expression for the perimeter of the shape. Write down everything that we can see, put our dot up here, and we're going to go this way round and include all of the sides. So we have x plus 17, add x plus 12, add 7. And then tidy it up by collecting the things together that can be collected together. So the x plus the x is 2x. 17 plus 12 is 29. Plus 7 is 38. No, 36. Okay, so our expression here for the perimeter of this triangle is 2x plus 36. Finally, you might be asked um, to find the expressions of perimeters for shapes where you have less information. And then you need to know other symbols that we use when we're drawing shapes. So, for example, if I have a square and I'm told that it has side lengths 2x, we might have it marked with a dashed line like this. And that just means that the side lengths are the same. So you could write in your extra side lengths, 2x, 2x, and 2x, and then add them all together, 2x plus 2x plus, oh, I need my dot here, don't I, 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 2x, and all together, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 lots of x for that one. And finally, uh, those 
side lengths being the same might come up in something like an isosceles triangle. So if we have a triangle that looks like this, and this is marked with two dashes, and this is marked with two dashes, that means that this side is the same as this side. So we might be told that that's 5, and this is x plus 2. We could then fill in our missing length here as being x plus 2. Draw our dot in as to where we're going to start, and then we're going to go clockwise around the shape. So it would be x plus 2 down here, plus 5, plus x plus 2. Collecting together the things that can be collected together, so the x plus the x is 2x, 2 and 5 is 7, plus another 2 is 9. Thanks for watching.